It is good practice, before working with Inventor, to adjust the settings of some of the application options that will affect your work. The Assembly tab of the Application Options controls the options for assembly files. The Application Options dialog can be accessed at any time via the Tools tab. In this instance, we will be accessing the dialog from a session of Inventor with no documents open. On the Ribbon, Tools tab, Options panel, select Application Options. The Application Options dialog box opens. Switch to the Assembly tab if necessary. Most of these settings should be left alone until there is good reason to change them. I'll briefly describe them all and explain those that have more general interest. Defer Update, when selected, will delay the normal automatic updating of a changed assembly until you want it to be updated, which is good for saving time with large assemblies. Delete Component Pattern Source, when selected, will delete the source object when you are creating a pattern in an assembly. Enable Relationship Redundancy Analysis, when selected, will notify you when redundant constraints exist. Enable Related Relationship Failure Analysis, when selected, will perform an analysis of all related relationships should one fail. Features are initially adaptive, when selected, will cause newly created parts to be made adaptive automatically. Section All Parts controls whether parts are sectioned within an assembly. Use Last Occurrence for Component Placement, when selected, causes components to be placed into the assembly in the same orientation as the last part. I usually enable this one. If you have many fasteners to place, you place and set the relationships of the first part, and then all parts that follow will have that same orientation. Relationship Audio Notification is another setting that I usually enable. When this is selected, you will hear a pop sound when a relationship is made. Display Component Names after Relationship Names is selected by default and for good reason. It adds more information that is relevant to the relationships by adding component instance names to the relationships in the browser. The In Place Features group box has settings for when you are editing features in the context of an assembly. Component Opacity is also selected by default. What this means is that when you double-click a member of an assembly to edit it, all the other members become translucent. Zoom Target for Place Component with iMate sets the default zoom behavior for the graphics window when you are placing eye parts. And the last thing on the Assembly tab of the Application Options is the Express Mode Settings group box. The Enable Express Mode Workflows option is selected by default and should be left that way. What this setting does is it saves a graphical representation of your assembly within the assembly file which allows for a very rapid opening of any assembly. But the most dramatic improvements will be seen with very large assemblies since it makes it easier to find exactly what you're looking for. Realize that this setting increases the file size of the assembly, but this should be of little concern with modern computers. The next option, Open Express When Referenced Unique Files Exceeds, sets the threshold at which an assembly automatically opens in Express Mode, and the other, Open Full, will automatically open assemblies in Full Mode. The Import button, allows you to import previously saved settings in XML format. Use AutoCAD related settings if you are switching to Inventor from AutoCAD and would like some familiarity, and use Inventor settings reverts all settings back to their defaults. The Export button 
allows you to save your current settings for future import.